Hi, everybody. Thanks for tuning in today. Today, I hope and pray that you may be encouraged in the most beautiful way after listening to uh, this video, what I have to share with you. And I'd like to share with you a few incidents um, that I hope that you would be blessed with by the end of this video. When you look around us, where did our humanity go sometimes, we think, you know, with what's going on in our society, the culture, and, um, you know, with the offense of people and hatred, anger, the po politics um, just tends to trigger a lot of us in the most ugly way. And, um, you know, just so many negative things that's out there, you wonder where the kindness or the compassion of the people went to. And it's really, really sad um, and disheartening when we look around us. And it's so easy that we can get caught up into the ugliness of the humanity these days. But I pray that today's word may encourage you to bring humanity, the goodness, back into your life if you feel like you're getting a little um, misled, misdirected, or confused these days by your surroundings. You know, I'd like to share with you that my father, as some of you know, he takes great care of my mother. My mother has been having a mental illness, um, I found out maybe like 22 years ago. And she, as long as she's on her medications, a regular basis, then she's fine. It tends to stabilize her mind. But if she chooses to not take her medications um, with her condition of schizophrenia, and I, I hear with that condition, they think sometimes they're okay, so they stop taking the medications, and they get a relapse. Well, my father experienced a big time relapse with my mother, let's say about 10 years ago. And he was just sharing me all the, um, the hor horrific things and sad things that, and strange things that happened that he's seen and witnessed. And something that I'd like to share with you in this video is a time when they like to go to one of their favorite restaurants. It's a Chinese buffet um, type of a restaurant. They enjoy the meal there. And about 10 years ago, they're just sitting here, you know, getting all the food on the table. You place it, it's all full. And then suddenly, she just, a strange behavior, just clean sweep the table and knocked all the food and the dishes down on the carpet, the ground, made a big noise. It was a pretty big scene. And um, of course, what is my father to do? It's quite embarrassing. Um, situation and there was a waitress that was there and she just came over and she just cleaned everything up my father felt very very bad for her that was one incident well that happened again it was a repeat they went back to the same place the Chinese buffet and <clears throat> my father thinking because my mother loves this restaurant he wants to please her so they go again and again same thing, she piles the table with food and dishes and drinks and cups and my mom just abruptly just threw everything down on the ground suddenly. So um, fast forward to today's day, over 10 years now, my father shared with me recently, he went back to that restaurant and my mother, she just loves the food there so you know, she went. And sure enough, for some odd reason, who approached the table was that same waitress. My father distinctly recognized her. And I'm sure if you were to be in his shoes, oh, this is a little shameful, you know, I wonder if she remembers me or the incident from 10 years back, right? But guess what happened? She came over, she recognized, of course, my parents, and she just wanted to share with my father that ever since after that incident, for some strange reasons, their business started booming. They are packed with customers. They remodeled the place. The quality of food has gotten better. And she was mentioning that to my father. How ironic that is. Out of just the goodness of her heart the humanity, the kindness in her spirit. Here she could have just like 
made a mean face or be angry or upset or frustrated or whichever, like, oh no, not them again. But instead, she chose to have a good attitude and to even share the blessing that has come, ironically, for whatever reason, to their business after the incident with my mom um, throwing all the dishes down on the floor. So I wanted to share that story with you because um, Jesus came to take away all of our shame. And he does it in most beautiful ways through people, let's say, or incidents. And that's one of the scenarios. Who would have thought by encountering another person from past shame that it would end up being a blessing? She made sure to let my father know how she took the past incident, which blessed him. And I assume she's not even a Christian. She's just a good person. I really emphasize that believe there are good people out there with goodness, kindness, compassion, empathy within them. And even though sometimes we may have some type of shameful past, past stories that I'm sure most of us have one way or another, God can turn it around for good and bless us in the most amazing ways we could ever imagine. I'd like to share with you another story that for some of you know from my past videos. I had an abortion back when I was, um, I think 18 years old, when I was in high school. And I dated this really uh, psychopath type of a boyfriend at that time. And that was something, of course, I just kept very quiet. Maybe at that time, just my sister or my mother, or my, no, actually, my, yeah, but just my family knew one good friend. And I was about to get married to my husband, Andy, um, soon, you know? I was gonna get married at 24 years old. And for some strange reason, ironically, he came to visit me one day, and I remember vividly, I was at the kitchen, and out of the blue, he just said, did you ever have an abortion? That like came out of nowhere from left field because he had a dream that I had an abortion. And of course, I denied it at first. I said, no, like I just kind of froze. I didn't know what to, how to respond. So we just let it go. And then there was another time. He just kept having three or four reoccurring dreams that I had an abortion. And this is right before I was about to get married to my husband. So I don't know if I was to be truthful with him or not, if he would want to just break up with me and not marry me, you know, because of my own guilt and shame of my past, you know, mistakes. But he asked me again, did you have an abortion? Because I just keep having these dreams that just keeps bothering me over and over again. So finally I confessed and I said yes. Wow, the goodness of God. He gave me this great big hug and he just says, let's move forward. I was so relieved that shame just melted away. He accepted me as who I am, wanted to spend the rest of my life, his life together in marriage. And that his grace, God's love and grace came upon him that came upon me. I was so blessed. And I hope that with those two stories, from my father of being shameful, of being back at this restaurant, and ironically with that same waitress that recognized him, here he was caught up in shame and he could have like, you know, felt like, you know, like, oh, I don't wanna be here, I hope nobody recognized, which whatever thoughts may happen, but here she is blessing him. Our business boom ever since that 10 years ago, and he's able now to walk in there standing tall and delightfully eating their delicious food with my mother anytime he wants. And then with me, Andy could have wanted to break up because of my shameful past, but instead because of the goodness of his heart, kindness, the humanity of all good things, he accepted me, loved me, embraced me. And I'm able to stand up tall, proudly walk down the wedding aisle to be his wife. And he just blessed me with his love and grace. And some of you that may have some shameful past incidents, once again, I pray that in some way, one or another, that God may bless you in the most favorable way with his love and grace, with his forgiveness, 
that you may just wash away any kind of shame that's holding you back, that may put some kind of weight within you, that you just may release it and let it go. For it says in James 1, 17, that every good and perfect thing comes from God, from above, coming down from the he Father of the heavenly lights. Isn't that beautiful? Every good and perfect gift is from above. And God loves to just envelop us with many gifts in our lives, only if we're willing to receive it gladly. Like the waitress, she had a good attitude, she was blessed, and even though the, the bad um, situation that happened with all those uh, dishes onto the carpet ground, making the big noise, a big scene, she had a good attitude. And she continued on her kindness with that good attitude of blessing my father, sharing the wonderful good news of the booming business. And my husband Andy had a good attitude and he loved me, embraced me, and wanted to move forward. So what a blessing my father and myself that we've experienced with these people. And let's look into the people surrounding us, our loved ones, strangers, anybody. And let us look into the goodness of the humanity, of the people, because it does exist. Because why? Every good and perfect thing comes from above, our Heavenly Father of heavenly lights. And I believe each and every single one of us in our humanity has God's light in, a, in us, within us, as long as we tap into it and to be able to spread it to other people. Let us be the salt and light of the world because the world needs God's good light within us. And people, we're always in contact one way or another. And with people, it always seems to be that we're, that is where lies issues or um, hatred or unforgiveness, things like that. But let's just turn it around for good and just do our part with a good attitude and just bringing goodness, kindness, love to people, compassion, mercy, not being judgmental, but have more curiosity. Try to step into other people's shoes because life is too short and we all don't know the number of our days. But let's continue to move forward and walk in God's good, good news and in His light and in God's good truth. God bless you today. I'll see you next week. Please subscribe to my channel and let me know how you like my videos. I will be so encouraged to keep on making more videos for all of you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.